with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Old man winter definitely paying the Ozarks a visit today. You saw the video going into the break. The snow up in the Kansas City area. We didn't get that down here, but we did certainly get the cold and it felt cold enough for snow this morning with morning readings in the 30s. Some late afternoon sunshine pushing highs today up to 47 in Springfield. That is the coldest high since April the 15th, and that is good enough for a new record low high temperature. What that means is we've never been so cold for a high temperature on this date, at least in the record books, that old record goes back to 1943. And this, of course, is way below the average high of 69 degrees. One week ago today, we had a high temperature of 84 degrees. Here's a look at the uh, record uh, cold highs for today's date. And you can see in Springfield, as I mentioned, we beat that one. We also beat it in Joplin with a high today of 49 degrees. And we tied it in the Vichy Rolla area at 48 degrees. Look at temperatures right now and where they stand and where they've stood really all afternoon long. In the low 40s in areas like Branson and Ava and Mountain Grove, West Plains, 43 degrees at this hour. And that's thanks to cloud cover, which has been very, very persistent in those locations and will continue to be persistent overnight tonight. So we bring out this graphic, the blanket effect. That's what will happen overnight tonight. Areas that see clear skies north of I-44 will see that heat, what little there was this afternoon, escape very efficiently out into space, and that will allow temperatures to dip to around freezing. Areas to the south will hold on to cloud cover, and just like a blanket on your bed, that will hold the heat in and keep temperatures from dropping as low as they could if we had clear skies and that high cloudiness is going to continue overnight tonight. So that is going to be a negative in terms of frost potential for areas south of I-44. Here along I-44, we're going to be right on the line and it looks like temperatures, while they won't hit freezing, will be close enough for some frost to develop tomorrow morning. Areas to the north of I-44, this is where we have a freeze warning and it looks very likely that we'll see our first light freeze of this season. In fact, temperatures down to about 32 in Stockton, 32 maybe in Lebanon, 32 in Lake Ozark here in Springfield, about 34. Areas to the south and southeast, it looks like mid to upper 30s will be more common, about 39 for a low in the West Plains area. This is a one night deal. Uh, you can see we've got that frost likelihood for Tuesday morning. After that, it looks like morning lows while chilly will remain warm enough. Well, it will not be an issue, at least here in the Springfield area. And of course, this first frost of the season here in the Springfield area, as I've mentioned before, will kind of kick things into high gear in, in terms of getting our fall foliage underway. So far, it's a little bit on the patchy side, but I think things are going to be improving given the pattern that we're looking at right now. And as far as tomorrow is concerned, we will hold on to that high cloud in the south of I-44, and that will have an impact on highs, where it looks like low to mid 50s will be common. Areas to the north of I-44 sunnier, with highs in the mid to upper 50s, a six on our colorator. Looking at the pattern this week, uh, next rainmaker will hold off until Friday. It'll zip through the area and that will open the door to a beautiful weekend. And yes, the pattern will remain chilly across the eastern U.S., uh, but it looks a little better, certainly than this past weekend. Here's your seven day forecast. 56 Tuesday, low 60s on Wednesday. This is my pick day of the work week. Increasing clouds on Thursday with a high close to 60 degrees. Showers late Thursday night into Friday morning, but we'll hold on to clouds and probably kind of damp conditions uh, for Friday night football games. Saturday and Sunday, though, Mother Nature paying us back after this past weekend. Looks like bright conditions and cool uh, afternoon highs in the low 60s. Really great weather to get that fall foliage underway. Nice day for Bacon Fest Saturday, which mm -hmm. of course Color 10 sponsors, and that's it at the fairgrounds. I remember I last year it was very warm. It was. This year will not be. Okay, how about our Viewers Club number? Viewers Club number for tonight is uh, 130505, jackpot $800. All right, Jamie, thanks. Well,